Hello, my fellow chatterers and book lovers, and anyone else who's popped in because you're curious or you're lost. I'm Chatty, and welcome to my channel, Chatty the Mad Chatter, where I'm going to be chatting away madly about my segmented vlog for the Magical Readathon Aurelium. Um, this is a readathon created by G from Book Roast, who I will link in the description box so you can go and find her channel. You can go and find all the stuff out about the Magical Readathon um, because it really is wonderful. Um, so in my previous vlogs, which I will leave up here, I'll leave the playlist, um, I think we're on part seven now. So I have been tracking my progress in the autumn equinox. My character Mogrog had an extension period I didn't manage to finish um, within the time frame, but I'm just going to keep going until I finish. However, um, it is time of winter festivities. It is light fall in um, Eldia and um, all the students are having a well-earned break. So this is a really chilled out, like extra mini readathon in December, starting on the 9th. So Mulgrog is going to enjoy a little bit of retail therapy, a lot of relaxation, um, before she continues with her final studies. Um, so this is all based on shops. Have I done this yet? <laughs> I do one shot, there is no editing, and I'm on like take five or six at this point. It's I just keep screwing it up. I can't even remember if I've done my little gimmick teacup shot. But anyway, there's no editing. Cheers, everyone. It's just one shot. And I really don't want to have to start <laughs> the refilming again. So in Lightfall, we are going to be going to um, the Old Favour Pass, which is like a little market town, little set of shops where the students can just go and chill out and just have some downtime. And it's really relaxed. So the readathon is just the prompts are so chill. You can kind of dip in or dip out of them. Um, there's just no pressure. They're not counting books. It's just a way of kind of everyone gathering together and just enjoying the kind of the magical readathon and all its vibes. So let's go to the Old Favour Pass and I will give you a little tour of the shops and what genre you might be able to read from, depending which shop you step inside. The first shop is the Old Tales Bookshop, where you can read a mystery or a thriller. So any mystery or thrillers can be read in this shop should you wish to go there. Ooh. In Shawl and Shank Legitimate Retailers, you could be reading horror. <gasps> Or you might want to go to Wallace, Wallace, I can't say this one. You might want to go to Wallace, Wallace's Wonderful Winter Animals, where you will need to read <gasps> fantasy. Ooh. In Smith and Friends and Son, Arcane Goods and Such, you could be reading some contemporary. In Occult Premonitions, you could be reading some science fiction. And finally, there is the Rich Pigeon Pub, where there is no genre, just vibes. So you can enjoy drinks, live theatre, music, and just have a good old time. And if you want to, I'm sure you could wear a cowboy hat because I have this hat and there is no Western genre. And magically, poof, we're back. <sighs> so that was the tour of the uh, old, I've forgotten it, I've written it down, the old favour pass. <laughs> and my attempt at trying to do some fun transitions, but <laughs> negotiable as to whether or not that worked. But hey, I've I have to try something <laughs> just to keep it fun for me. Anyway, so I think there's some definite places that um, I, definite shops that I will be heading in. Luckily, these are the ones that Mulgrog, I feel, would, would get some joy from. You can either do it by whichever ones your character wants to go in, whichever ones you fancy reading, or 
you can do it randomly you, you can roll a dice and assign each shop a number to um, make your decision for you um, so I think I will definitely be visiting the Old Tales bookstore um, I have some I have a I have a book on my TBR that um, I would definitely would work with that one um, I will not be going to Shawl and Shank legitimate retailers because I don't want to read any horror sorry <laughs> I'm sure it's a great shop um, I they possibly could go to Smith Friend and Sons Arcane Goods and such. Um, I have got a contemporary on my list, but I think it's it's possibly not possibly not the shop that I'm going to be spending the most time in. The same for um, Occul Occult Premonitions. I don't think I'm going to be going in there. The Rich Pigeon Pub, obviously, I think everyone's going to be congregating in there and, and having a wonderful time by the Roaring Fireside. And me being me, the, sh the shop that I will, of course, be dwelling in the most will be Wallace's wonderful winter animals because I think you know who doesn't love a petting zoo and get all those good feel vibes from striking some small furry creatures I think that is exactly what Mogrog needs to calm down from the year she's had so I'm gonna have a little look at my books and see which ones will probably fit in I've just moved space again because it's just easier because all my books are kind of around um, me in my little book corner over here rather than like sitting on the floor in front of the shelves. Um, so if I go into the Old Tales bookshop, I will be reading um, the middle grade mystery thriller Danger at Dead Man's Pass because it's a mystery book. Therefore, that fits in. Should I feel like I want to stay there? I would then need to ask the archivist for a recommendation and that is read a book recommended to you. So I could then go to the library and pick up Mistress of the Art of Death, um, which has been recommended by um, Kemi from Violet Pages. I thought that sounded like a really um, fun series to read. It's kind of a medieval um, mystery setting where you've got sort of like a female detective doctor. So I thought that sounded really cool. Um, I could also pick up um, her name is Knight, um, which has been recommended by um, Nicole from The Dusty Booksniffer. She has been talking about this series and has just read the second one and really, really enjoyed it. Um, or I could read the first Enola Holmes book, which is The Case of the Missing Marquess, if I'm wanting more kind of middle grade mystery fun times. Um, and that has been recommended by Olivia from Olivia's Catastrophe. She read it for her middle grade magic. Um, so I have a lot of options should I want to stay in the genre. But because I'm trying not to go to the library as much, I don't think I will be getting to those. I think I will just be sticking with Danger of Dead Man's Pass. Um, if I wanted to read, but if I did want to read a third mystery, um, then the next one is to read in the lounge, which is where you get a uh, read a book while cozied up with a blanket, um, which just sounds delightful. It's quite a nice prompt to do for all of them. <laughs> and then going into um, Wallace's wonderful winter animals. Um, there are all sorts of fantasy I could read for this one. I could read Once We Were Witches by Sarah Driver. This is a book that I definitely, definitely want to read. It will be a reread, but then I can read the second one, which is Twice We Make Magic. Um, also, um, continuing with the series is Fool's Fate. Um, so that one would definitely be one to pick up, unless I am still reading <laughs> The Golden Fool. But they are both in the 20 Man Trilogy by Robin Hobb. Um, Fantasy is probably where I'm going to stay, so if I do finish one book within this time and want to pick a second one, then I could have a zoo adventure, which is where I need to book, read a book with an animal on the cover. Um, and these ones are just slightly out of my reach. And I realise now that one of the ones is downstairs, so um, I probably won't read um, this one. Um, so this is Shadow Sea, which is the fourth in the Cogheart books by Peter Bunzel. Um, I probably won't read this one because I'm hoping to have read it way before the night, but you know, I could be slow. Um, on the cover, it has got, um, it's like got a submarine kind of submerged and there's like fish and a mechanical fox um, on the cover. So that definitely fits animals. Also Reaper at the Gates, we've got this wonderful eagle made of stars. So um, that would definitely fit the prompt as well. Um, and the final prompt for the, um, for the fantasy, fantasy shop with Wallace's wonderful winter animals is eat a Wanimal winter waffle. <laughs> Some tongue twisters going on in here. And for that, you need to read a book with a wintry setting. So I could definitely read the Even the Darkest Stars duology. Um, this is the second book, All the Wandering Light, which I haven't read. 
the first book even the darker stars i have read but i want to reread it before picking up this one so a few options for me for joining in the fun of Rillium. um how are you looking at your december is it full of excitement is it sparse because you've got so many other things you're doing are you taking part in the magical readathon do let me know about um any other things you're planning to do in december and any thoughts you have about any of the books i've mentioned um or you know just anything in general you know i love a chat happy reading everyone